This is how it happened. <laughs> it all just started going back into seventh grade. Since that day, life has been crazy. Nothing but a bumpy roller coaster. We've had our highs, we've had our lows, our laughs, and our fights. Graduating eighth grade together, everybody had their doubts about us. They thought we were not going to be friends for a long time. But now look at us. We've been friends for almost a decade now. I met Theodore back in 5th grade. We weren't really friends until 7th grade. I met Jonathan. I remember he first came up to me. He was offering me to play with his tech decks. I denied it, you know. And then comes Nicholas. Kind of chilled. I honestly forgot what made us become friends. More than likely because, you know, he was friends with Theodore and Jonathan. Yeah, continued on to this day. A lot of people... We're saying, oh, you guys aren't going to be friends for this song. We've proved them wrong. To think about it now, we all had all these ideas that came into Total Jackass. That was the actual YouTube channel. And then we kind of, like, drifted apart from doing all that. We just started doing our own thing. You know, life got in the way. We all just started checking out our old videos of all the stuff that we did. The Total Jackass and everything, and then... Like, hey, let's get back into it. And actually, let's, you know, do scripted stuff. So, thus, Low Stooge came around. Why are you recording me, man? <laughs> All the Total Jackass and, and or Low Stooge videos we've done, which is your favorite and why? Damn. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, the, the ones we made? The new ones? Oh, okay. Hey, out uh, of Total Jackass or Lil Stooge, either first or. One, the first one was the funnest one, I think. The, the one with the kid. I like that oh, one. Yeah. That was fun to make. I was. Really shit. I was just, I was laughing the whole time. So, uh, like, and the, the reason I like it is just, like, we were in the park and it was like, I was the kid, so I had to make myself look <laughs> short, and it was the most funniest thing ever. <laughs> and, um,. Recording was fun, you did for different angles and all that kind of stuff. I say, uh, there's a lot that we did. Um, shit. I said the one when we were by the church, and then I bought my favorite candy, and we were trying to do a video of how to drop on the floor. And I had like crawl, not crawl, we'll walk to the edge. And said, what was the name I said? Uh, it was, candy. uh, Selena? Oh, uh, yeah. I just see a lot of Selena, no, and then you fucking go off the fucking video to Jesus or God, the type of thing. Then we, also, uh, we had that song, the, the In the Arms of the Angel or something. In, like in the Arms of the Angel. Yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite one. All right. Uh, my favorite one was when I was eating the tortillas and I was trying to make everyone touch the pan. <laughs> that was my favorite video. But well, why was it your favorite? I was. It was my favorite video because because I, I was like kind of wrestling a little bit. <laughs> like, wrestling. Uh, that is a good question. I don't know, like. I, I'm stuck between the very f not not technically not the very first. It was the second to first video. It was where I was in his in Jonathan's kitchen and, and it was just uh it was just me and him we're just chilling and I gave I think I gave him a newspaper clippings and like I had deals in it um and he's just like going at it, he's like he's like something about something half off or something like or he didn't like something he just rips it up and then uh he, he sees the cat was looking over him looking all over over at him and he just throws a fork at him I'm like what the f are you doing? and then I'm also stuck between uh. So that was it. Oh, it was the one video where I threw an ice into his cup and he got real pissed off about it. <laughs> and it was just like real funny. It was funny as hell, like his reaction, like how pissed off he just starts slamming the table. I think at one point he slammed the cup. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was a good one. What was your favorite moment when we were at Darwin? Uh, my favorite moment was when we were playing basketball. I scored the ball twice without even realizing it. 
and I set the bar on the, on the chain. Oh, that fucking is more. Then we passed the one again. Uh, we were at Darwin. Oh, uh, this is we. So we were in special ed. The all four four of us and everything. It was eighth grade, and we had this like special ed teacher. It was a with a um, it was a substitute and all that because the one we were supposed to get was on maternal leave, I believe it was. And then uh, so Jonathan was always causing trouble. And then the next thing, and then one day he uh, I forgot how he started, but he, he was like. He had, to, he, had to, he had to stand up or something like that, and he he was like marching or something like that. <laughs> oh, that, that was funny. And then um, I would say it was my favorite moment, but I, I'm like it was just like more of like okay. Uh, we kept playing basketball, and then or trip, and I thought I popped my from that. No, it turns out I turned a, torn a muscle. <laughs> yeah. We moved to eighth grade. Eighth grade, the whole entire eighth grade shit was fun as hell. Eighth grade, like, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't pinpoint a, a, a one, but I think like Camp Echo was like lit, and then um, there were so many, so many good things in that school. I, I, I think Camp Echo, um, it, it because um, we went on this trip and we just all of us in this like other place doing other like, different stuff. So it was like fun to like um meet new friends and god damn yeah great where where we all started like coming together as our as our main group circle and we got to see everyone like wow side of each other and we started off it started off like a weird group and then i was sound like in eighth grade everyone know who our group was like i was pretty awesome we we're just the people we we're like the people in the background i'm fucking just chilling acting stupid and everyone started fucking be like Oh, you guys little posses, oh, you little four amigos, and everyone started recognizing us. And shit. I don't know. That was my favorite part. What was the most funnest moment we had together just chilling? It asked me, uh, it, it asked me that one time, like when me and Theodore used to live on the same block, I would crash the night at his place for almost like two weeks or so. And then one day he was just doing his homework for Noble. He had to read a book and everything. He got so pissed off that he, I think he stabbed the book or something. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember. But I know he's trying to break his. He was trying to break his, his Nintendo DS. He took a hammer to it, and then he next thing you know, he's throwing it off the second the second balcony onto the ground outside on his back porch. And I'm like, what the? F-? I said when we go to the every time we get high, we always talk about just going to the park, and swinging and chilling. Like in the summertime, we just like it's gone. We get high, we just go on the swings, and then. The music and just chill. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Where do you see us in the future after today? Uh, I see us you know, in the probably in the house and living together. Kind of our working soon. Getting more uh, I see myself as a businessman. <laughs> like, I, I, I see myself as um, trying to build like business type thing. Um, I want to do that type of stuff. So. Trying to build a business. I'll be, I'll be running a business probably it's like, um, I really don't know, but something like, something like with that. Because I like um, making stuff, like, I like buying stuff and trying to invest in All right. Which would be All right. Owning a business, moving up in life, and then retiring at like a very fucking young age. Instead of people, instead of retiring like at 60 or 70. Why well, I see us in the future, to be honest. Like, Theodore keeps talking about how he wants to start his own business and everything. And he's asking us if, you know, we want to work with him. My thing is, I'm down to do that. I am. Uh, I, I even offered him, because as of today, you know, I'm, I'm in school learning to, uh, for film and video production. I told him, hey, if you need someone to record a commercial for it, just give me a script and I'm down to do that. What would happen if you guys never became friends? Well, let's just say before, the reason why I met everyone is that I was homeschooled because I was taking on fifth grade and and I was like homeschooled to like eighth grade, but they put me back in the grade to seventh grade. But that, that's how we how I met them. But um, I feel like if I didn't like if I didn't go back to school and I never met them, I would have been in that same situation where I was bored as hell in my house, doing nothing, you know, I'll barely hanging out with anybody, pretty, pretty much just being all to myself. Uh, it would be different. It, would, it wouldn't be this. I don't, I don't think so. 
Um, yeah, I mean, if we never became friends, this would never happen. So um, I mean, I would have been. I, I think my whole life would be different. Cause like before I started hanging out with you guys, I used to hang out with like stupid people, like my cousin and them, always about the game bang and stuff. And then like it wasn't really me, but I adapt to it. And then when I started finding like that, there's nerds like me around here, like bro, I can't became myself for being a fucking nerd, Dragon Ball anime, all that shit. Excuse me, ma'am. May I introduce you to some Comcast? <laughs> <laughs> Can I interest you in some Comcast? <laughs>